Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good time. So Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to our survival base build and work on our brand new tree farm. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland. And it's always great to have you here for another super awesome build. And in today's episode, we are taking a little break from the roller coaster project. As you can see out in the distance, look at that thing looking marvelous out there. Let's get a good look at it from over here. Wow, look at that. Super cool. So, of course, if you're unfamiliar, this is our roller coaster build that we're currently working on. But what we're going to work on over here, this is our survival base. Now, we built this tent over here with some good storage. And we have some uh, smelting here and our bed and armor stands and things like that. So, this is a great place to, you know, store some materials for the project and all those good things. We also have our little stable over here with Tippy. Hey there, Tippy. Say hi for the scars. No, no, you're just going to turn your back on us. I see how it is. Yeah. I'll... All right. And then we'll come over here. And of course, here is our enchanting tent. Now, of course, there was a mistake with this. And we were unable to get to a full 30 levels because the pressure plates that were here, here, and there, where well, you can't see, but over there, they were actually blocking the uh, effectiveness of these uh, bookcases. So what I've done is I've installed four additional books on either side here, here, and here. And I removed all the pressure plates on either side there. And now it works perfect. I mean, it's not ideal. It's not perfect. It's an unfortunate situation. But, well, it works now. So that's a good thing. But let's get into today's build. So as you can see, I've cleared out this area. So I've cut down the trees and got everything, you know, kind of cleared out. So we could start on our tree farm. Now, you might be wondering, Scar, what about the Scarland tree farm? The massive tree farm you have in this world. Well, the problem with it is if we need quick, uh, you know, supply of trees, it's about a 10 minute trip back and forth between there. It could even be up to like 20 minutes, depending on which way you go. So we need something a little closer to the project for it. And I thought we'd do something kind of fun. So the first thing we're going to work on is the tent. So we're kind of going with the same theme, you know, the tent there and the tent there. And I want to build another one because these are actually, I don't know, there's a lot of fun to build, to be honest, and I want to build some more of them. So we're going to make a small tent storage area right here. And then from the storage room that we're going to build here, we are going to make our way into this flat area that I flattened, and that will be where we build the tree farm. So I think it'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to this project. And um, I think it'll be just, you know, another quick project where we don't have, you know, more than two episodes. That's the goal with the uh, survival build project because, you know, this was supposed to be just a quick preparation for the Scarland uh, roller coaster. But I thought, hey, let's make a couple more uh, videos in here as we kind of build more and more, you know, infrastructure for the project. And I think that's going to be pretty fun. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Where shall we start? Let's actually get out some of this material here. So these are our colors. We got our gray uh, clay and our light white, I believe. Yes, or just white light white hmm that would be an interesting uh you know hardened clay It'd be more white than this pinkish color anyway uh light gray and uh there's gray so that's where i got light white <laughs> light gray scar what are you doing all right so what we're gonna do here as you can see we've spaced these out by three so you know we place a block and then one two three and then on the fourth block we place one so on the fourth one then over here we placed a block so one two three four five six seven see how we did that awesome all right, so then we're gonna go from this block, so one, two, three, four, and then from this one, two, three, and then we'll just start, you know, placing the blocks as we uh, see fit. Okay, so let's put our white block there, and we're going to come on the sides here with our light gray. Awesome, awesome. Now, one thing we need, of course, is our scaffolding. Very good, very good. And then we're just gonna go two on either side like that. There we go, there we go, looking super fancy. Oops, man, my mistake. There we go. And then we will place that around there. There we go. Awesome. And then we'll just kind of continue this pattern upwards. So we'll just place it up here. And so what we're trying to do here is make like a flap. So this would be kind of the flap of the canvas of the tent. So I think that would be pretty darn cool once we get to a point where it starts to show what we're actually going to build. So I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, so now we're at this point here. I'm going to place another bit of scaffolding here and I'm going to start with the gray which sometimes looks like brown if you look at it a certain way you're like wait a second is that brown <laughs> but no no it is actually gray there we go awesome and then we'll just run another layer of that above it like so great and then let's see we're gonna back over here one more time and we're gonna place a little scaffolding there 
and then we're going to place that there and then have one of these let's see yes do we want it to overlap yes we want it to overlap yes and then we'll just do that like so there we go we've already uh, got kind of the basic shape of the tent going this is super good um let's see let's make sure we have enough of this because we will need quite a bit of hardened clay there we go awesome so let's come on down and yeah there we go there we go that, that's looking good this is what i've kind of envisioned awesome okay and then uh, let's get up here because we have a bit more to do up on top and now we're going to take this and we're going to let's see let's see if we can get over here let's place a little bit more scaffolding up here and then we'll place that up there like that and jet that out by another set of one there we go looking mighty fine so let me know how we're doing so far let me know do you guys like the colors because i feel like these colors you know kind of fit a little bit with our theme of you know a tree farm you know they're kind of the kind of brownish kind of colors um grayish you know colors so i think they kind of fit the theme a little bit of a tree farm you know our enchanting tent i think that one kind of fit with you know the purples and things of that nature kind of went with the design a little bit and of course that one looks a little bit like a camping tent if you will so I think I think this will look good. I think this will look good. And then soon we'll, of course, you know, replant some of the trees that we had taken out in this area and it'll start looking like a forest again. That'll be pretty cool. That'll be pretty cool. All right. There we go. Yes, that is looking awesome. I, I really like that. I really do like that. OK, um, let's see. Let's get out some spruce fences. We're going to place these on either side there and that kind of looks like a tie down system like you've uh, kind of have stakes driven into the ground to hold the tent in place so i think that's pretty cool pretty cool there we go all right so let me do this side as we've done over here and i'll be right back all right and welcome back so just took a little rest there to uh sleep the night away and i want to show you guys something else before we uh continue to work on our tent and that is down in the cave where we're going to start to build some additional survival base items that will be down there we'll have a much larger you know style um you know storage and smeltery area and then let's see i need to dump off this over here and then this is something else we built uh, kind of a little sorter to keep track of all of our mob drops and things of that nature that we get during the project i'm trying to collect it all and kind of just see how much we actually get in the end so when you you know insert something into those boxes that sends it down as a a much greater storage below it with some hoppers and things of that nature but um yeah so down below there we're going to work on a much larger crafting and storage and smeltery and different things like that uh, i would like to make a little cow farm and what was the other thing i want to build oh sheep farm yes sheep farm and a mine so a couple other projects there and uh, looking forward to getting to that pretty soon too so before we get too far i want to do this because this is kind of cool so um let's see we do this a lot in the skyrim village build we've been doing on twitch but i don't think i've ever done it really on a video but if you take you know a dirt block and then place you know a fence post like that and then open it up it just creates a nice little look it's almost like a nice craftsman uh, style look um, there's a house that I would like to build in creative sometime as a, one of our creative house building series that's a craftsman house and I have this as you know kind of a prominent uh, piece of it using a lot of those to kind of create a nice little look all right there we go awesome and let's just fly on over here and let's get back to work here okay so let's get back where we were so we've completed this section over here which was similar to what we've done on the other side and uh, now we're just catching back up here where we start the light gray or is this dark gray i don't know it looks brown to me it's the brown block we're just gonna call it the brown block all right there we go and yes it's just standard gray uh, it just looks you're am i right this looks brown right am i right it looks like a really kind of brownish gray how about that we'll call it the brownish gray block and then we're gonna go over here and then fill that in on there so this actually is the first video that i've recorded in Skyland on my new computer which if you've been following me long enough especially on Twitter you know that I've uh, got a new computer about six months ago I was super excited and I was posting lots of pictures of it and then I had nothing but trouble getting it to work I've had just the worst luck with it and you know finally I think I've got some of the stuff pretty well sorted out and now I'm at least able to record I think now on it um, I've of course been doing all my live streams on it but recording has been a problem and just you know keeping it from crashing and it's just been a, it's just been a kind of a disaster so it's um yeah so this is actually the uh, the first Scarland video that I've recorded I've tried to record a few videos here and there on it uh, but this is the first time I've done you know a Scarland video so let me know 
what you guys think of the uh, the audio and the picture quality to make sure everything is still you know up to uh, snuff because you know of course I've recorded some 400 and something videos on my old Mac and I want to make sure that the um, the new computer is up to the task and I counted that out perfect wow that's that's I actually counted that out because I actually thought we were gonna have a few extra chests, but it turns out not. So this is kind of our design that we'll have for the interior. So we'll have a nice, you know, flooring in here, and then uh, the chests will be along this side over here. Um, one thing to, to remember is to place chests next to each other. Of course, if you don't remember, this is a trap chest and this is a standard chest. So it, that allows you to place them next to each other. So sometimes people ask me like, oh, Scar, how'd you do that? And to be honest, I didn't know about it for a long time either. So it's kind of a cool little, uh, cool little thing. Okay. And then we'll place that down like that. I forgot just to make sure this all looks good. Um, we'll make sure we remove that extra dirt block there. There we go. Those little small details, my friends, those small little details count in the end. So always think about those when you're uh, when you're going along on your build. There we go. And then we may place some glowstone um, under here, maybe put a little carpet on top of it. So um, I definitely do that. Also, the uh, oh, oh, one other thing, too. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Let me get that going. There we go. Um, this thing may be able to see that piece of dirt down there. So let's just quickly take that and get that going like so. There we go. Um, like I was saying, uh, make sure you try to watch this video on a PC and click the 720 60 FPS because I'm recording this in 60 FPS now that YouTube allows that. And originally I was thinking, you know, I don't know. I was did a few tests of it um, and I thought, I don't know if, if Minecraft would really benefit from 60 FPS. And then, uh, you know, I did a couple tests and I was like, oh, it does benefit from it. I was wrong. And uh, some people had asked me, and I was like, yeah, I don't think uh, Minecraft would benefit from 60 FPS. You know, something like Call of Duty or Battlefield would, but I don't know about the Minecraft. And I was wrong, because it looks pretty darn cool in 60 FPS. I think everything looks better in 60 FPS, especially, especially gaming, you know, gameplay, you know. Gameplay on YouTube, gaming in general, playing in 60 FPS instead of 30 it just looks better, and uh, I definitely, definitely prefer it. And I understand why people are always so vocal about making sure games are in 60 FPS. There we go. And we'll just fill in that side like so. And then we'll be able to put, let me get it out. There we go. And then we can put this and we can put our axes on here or something along those lines. But if we really want to get fancy, and I forgot I put this in my inventory, just want to give it a try, is this. Let's Let's see what that looks like, maybe. And then maybe we could take that off and then put just a single hassle. Oh, no, no, that's wrong. That's wrong, Scott. That is the correct block. Let's put just a block of uh, there. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let's remove this side over here and let me know what you guys think. Did you like it better as just the standard, you know, milk chocolate block? Or, you know, do it with this block here is the chiseled decorative block. And then we can put our axe, of course, like in here. So when we're done with it or whatever, we can just stick it on there and go into the tree farm or go out. So I think that's pretty good. I want to do a layer of carpet across here. So give me one second. Let me get a couple more materials and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And you can see them out there. Look at them all. All those creeper inspectors disappearing because you know what? We haven't made any mistakes yet, and they're all upset that they can't uh, cite us on any violations of our bills. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so we have some more finishing touches to put up on our little tent we're building over here. So one thing we're going to do is, of course, I don't have any glowstone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that down there, and I'm going to grab out my light carpet, and I'm going to see which one I like better. But uh, what we could do is, you know, just put that down there and it avoid the smoke and stuff, which bugs me. That's why I always prefer to use, um, you know, of course, the glowstone. But we can put that like that and then we can put that, just put it down one lower and we can kind of have it all covered up. There we go. All right. So that's the light gray. What do you got? What are your thoughts on maybe doing a bit of dark gray? Hmm, actually, I think I like that contrast a little bit better. I think it looks a little bit better. But let me know. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on that, too. Do you like the light or the gray? Hmm, that's a good question. I do like the, the kind of brighter feeling that it gives it, but the dark kind of goes. I kind of like that. But um, also found, I think looks better too, is if we do a stone slab on top of there. I think that looks better for our little spot where we put our different tools. I think that looks good. Okay, 
Um, next, we're going to grab out our white stained clay, which I always call that the tan clay by mistake because it's kind of tannish. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place it right there and right there. So just above the wood log. So I'm going to, I'm going to need some scaffolding. I'm going to need some scaffolding. We're going to place that right there and voila. All right. Wonderful. And then let's quickly do it over here. There we go on the side. Recreate exactly what we've done. Let's line that up. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Good. Okay. And then uh, let's grab out our gray once again. And what we're going to do here is we're going to lower the ceiling just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to run that along there. And we're going to run that along there like so. Just lowering the ceiling just a little bit. See so yeah, how that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to need to scaffold up because I think if we get up here a little bit, we're going to notice a little bit of an unsightliness here. So trying to decide what to do about that. Hmm. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We'll figure this out. Um, let's uh, put this here in here. And then I want to scaffold back up just a little bit. I want to see what that looks like. Let's see. Let's get a bird's eye perspective of that. Hmm. I see the problem. I see the problem. I see what we need to do. We're going to go like this. We're going to fill this in like that. And then we're going to scaffold up. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove that very top layer up here. We're going to remove this one. Yes, I think that's best. I think that's best. There we go. Let's lower this down just a little bit. And I think that'll look a lot better. There we go. Nice. I think that that's that's what we need to do. That's what we do. Never, never, never fear, my friends. Never fear to kind of remove sections of your build and kind of manipulate it a little bit. It's like clay, you know, you're just kind of sculpting it. And uh, don't don't be don't be frightful to destroy something once in a while when you're building it to uh, come out with a better end. That's that's what that's my always fear when I'm painting or something along those lines is I always like, you know, never want to just like throw it away and start over. I always want to keep like kind of messing with it, but never fear to kind of throw it away or just kind of modify it a little bit. And I think that looks way better than it had. Awesome. So let's uh, fly on over here and then let's recreate what we've done on that side over here. So now we know what we're going to do. So we'll just go bam, bam, and a boom. And then we'll take this and we'll just fill this in like so. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. That's really good. That's really good. I think, I think, you know, you're, you're the decider. You're the decider if it's really good. I hope it is. And then uh, I give it up to you to decide if it's worthy of a scar seal of approval. There we go. And we'll just set up a quick little creeper gate here and here. Awesome. Okay. Now there needs to be a little bit more. Let's see what we can do about getting a little more detail within here. And what I'm thinking is, and let me know, let me know what your thoughts are here, is if we could do this. Let's take Let's go like this. Let's remove you and then we'll take this. Okay, we're actually going to need scaffolding to go all the way across. We're going to take this. We're going to run this along here. And I think it kind of acts as support rails a little bit. You know, that's kind of like the interior of it. These are kind of what uh, kind of holds up the uh, the tent from within. I think that looks kind of nice. I think that looks kind of nice. So let's uh, remove that and kind of see how we've done. There we go. I'm almost considering doing a level of it across here, but that wouldn't allow because of the stone thing. So we're kind of have to figure out what we're going to do about that. There we go. So let's run this across here. There we go. And yeah, so let me continue to work on this and add what we've done on the other side. And then uh, we'll wrap up this build. I think, it's, I think it's coming out pretty good. So let me put the final touches on it and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And let's take a look at our storage tent for our tree farm. Look at that thing. That's pretty awesome, I think. I think that looks pretty nice. It's got a little bit different look than the uh, the other tents, so I think it kind of kind of you know has a little unique look to it. I love the little flaps that kind of hang down as it's kind of open. So I like the open nature of it. So it's all kind of you know open. You can see out and things of that nature. And of course, we can put our tools in these little slots here, which will be super cool. And then soon we will build our tree farm out here. So we'll make a nice little pathway and then that will lead up to the platform where we will put our trees. The main tree we're going to be building is or look trying to harvest is acacia and I believe a little bit of spruce and a little bit of dark oak. But uh, the main thing is acacia and uh, yeah, so then we'll uh, 
kind of uh, fancy up the landscaping around here, we'll probably do that on uh, Twitch. So definitely follow the link down in the description so you can uh, follow me on uh, Twitch so you'll be notified when we go live over there to uh, work on the landscaping. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the project today. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.